Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a German vehicle such as Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche guys, they're practically built by the same company, VAC guys. And if you have a small uh, system leak detected, the EVAP system, you have a small leak detected, stay with us, we'll explain how we can fix that for just a few dollars in most cases, instead of spending hundreds of dollars on diagnostics and in some cases even thousands of dollars. So let's start on it now. So guys, if you have a, a EVAP system small leak detected, first thing to do, open your gas cap on your German vehicle and inspect it. Why? Because uh, now, back in the day guys, the gasoline vehicles, uh, uh, practically the system used to be kind of like an open system where the fumes uh, from the gasoline splashing and expanding from temperature used to be injected in the atmosphere practically, but now it's a closed system and uh, uh, what happens, the cap will close the system completely and uh, when you reach certain pressure okay you have the purge control valve solenoid that will open it will inject the gasoline fumes in the engine they'll burn through the engine they'll give you uh, extra um, uh, practically power extra fuel and you're not wasting fuel and you're not polluting the atmosphere so it's a win-win situation so the gas cap it has two components a valve integrated valve if the evap system fails for some reason to work correctly that valve when it reaches a certain pressure will let the gasoline fumes come out number two you have that seal that cracked seal will be the number one reason for small evap leaks so stay with us we're going to explain it uh, where you can get it from for just a few dollars and we'll continue replacing it so that seal guys it's extremely easy to actually replace so you have to do you can get a knife okay the old ones sometimes will actually even break in some cases due to the fact that it's so cracked okay so give me a little bit of time okay uh, to pry it out with a knife here it's about to come out, okay. Crack, but still holding somehow. Okay, so let me start it on this side now. It's a double seal, guys. So it goes in a canal there. Okay, so if you have like a, a screwdriver, two little screwdrivers, that will help. Just doing it here in the kitchen. So let me see if I can just throw it over so we can replace it. So it started guys, okay I'll show you how it goes and I'm just going to go ahead, okay, get all of it out now. If you use a small screwdriver way safer and easier too. This is a very old seal that lost its flexibility from being exposed to ethanol fuels as well. Now, uh, this is, guys, okay, uh, the seal right here. You can see how cracked it is, right? It's terrible. It's practically falling apart in every single way. So, now, all I have to do, open the new one. We'll put the link in the description of the video below, guys, where you can buy one for just a few dollars. Instead of spending 50 to 70 dollars on a fuel cap, you can just buy it for a few dollars. The new one, it's so flexible, it feels soft, nice. So we're going to go ahead. Installation is super easy. It takes only, okay, only practically a minute. If you have smaller fingers, it will be even easier. Okay, and that's it, we are ready. So guys, we replaced it. You can see the new seal is installed and we'll be practically getting rid of that EVAP. Uh, small leak detected on a Porsche vehicle right here guys uh, but even if you have a Volkswagen Audi that same seal uh, fits multiple models that's actually from a Volkswagen because it was cheaper Porsche just because of the name you pay more uh, but Volkswagen Turing uses actually the same gas cap and uh, this fits uh, Tiguan Audi A4567 uh, Q Q5 Q7 multiple ones so we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from thank you guys for watching and see you next time